So what is a Lottie animation? Well, it's simply animated graphics that you can put together inside of After Effects by using a free plugin and then export it over to your website or hand over to a web developer as code so you or they can implement it on the website just as code. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. This video is gonna be great. Maybe you're gonna offer a brand new service of motion graphics uh, for web developers, or maybe you, you said, yes, I can design motion graphics for your website and then realize that it needs to be in the form of code. Well, no problems. Toriel has you covered. You're gonna be able to implement graphics on your website just like this. And before we jump in, be sure to smash like on this video if you want more in-depth tutorials on Lottie animations, and let's get started. So what exactly is a Lottie animation in play? We scroll down here to the bottom of our brand new subscription page and I added some animations in here just for fun to test this out. So we have our duck animation and also a custom animation that we created right here inside of After Effects. You see that I animated my duck and we came here and we animated just some dots in here uh, just to show how this works. So in order to do this sort of thing inside of After Effects and bring it over your website, you need this extension called Lottie Files. You can download it for free. I'll drop the link below so you can download it and install it if you wanna do this type of animation, if you're doing a website project, uh, and it'll tell you what parameters uh, and animations are possible uh, depending on the platform you're using. So for example, some of these parameters might work on a Windows, but it might not work on iOS. So like the repeater here doesn't work for iOS or Windows. So you can use this as a sheet to know what's possible and what isn't uh, for your animations for your client's website or for your own website, whatever you wanna do. So once you have that installed, I'll show you how to use this and quickly create your own custom animations for uh, website design. So the first thing you wanna do when you're inside of After Effects is create your animation. So we'll come here and you know set this to 1920 by 1080. You should already have the Lottie Files extension already uh, installed, so you go to Window, Lottie Files. Uh, but you don't need that at the moment. We need to create our animation first. So, you know, we can take a look at what exactly is possible. Like I said, so maybe I want to animate my logo. I can see that we can use an image file uh, for this. So I can bring in my logo right here. Uh, you know, I can probably change the color of this real quick. Beautiful. And I can animate this. So I'll grab the pan behind tool and I can bring this to the bottom. I'm not going to do any advanced animations in this tutorial. I will in another one if you are interested, so leave a comment down below if you want more advanced animations and see what's truly possible. A lot of keyframe for rotation, I'll kind of just rotate this here, go to like one second and then I'll rotate it back to the other way. And I'm gonna all click the stopwatch and type out the loop out expression. And I think this is gonna look great uh, for a lot of Lottie animations using the loop out ping pong expression, just like how, how I have it typed out. Uh, we'll go ahead and make both these keyframes easy ease. Come here to the graph editor and we'll just, you know, bring those handles inward. So now we should have animation like this and that looks good. Now, one thing we wanna do before we export our animation is we wanna try to scrunch down the composition size. So we have all this, you know, black, white space, whatever you wanna call it. We'll go here to composition and go to composition settings. And we're just going to, you know, bring down the width and height to just fit around our animation. So we're not gonna have all this empty space on our website uh, and that should be okay. So we'll go ahead and set our endpoint at two seconds. So then we'll have a full cycle animation. It goes back and it goes forward just like that. So now we can export this over to uh, our website. So we'll come here to Lottie Files extension and you'll see that we have comp one here. I can rename the duck if I wanted to and it updated right here. What I can do is click on this arrow icon and it's gonna go ahead and render this. So we want to click save as and before you do anything, you wanna preview your animation to make sure it's exactly how it's supposed to be. And if you don't see your animation exactly how you created it, you need to go back and find a new method of animating it. We'll click on save as, and we'll wanna say this as a dot J sun, and we'll go ahead and save this anywhere we want. I have a couple here. So how you implement your animation into your website is gonna be different for everyone. You're gonna to need to look up how to implement a .json file into your website. Uh, but I'm using WordPress and I'm using the Avada theme, which is super easy to use. I'll drop a link below if you're using WordPress and you want a really cool theme. Uh, but how this works, I can come here, I can find the widget for a Lottie animation and I'll come here to JSON upload. I can just hit the plus icon and now it's uploaded. I'll insert the post and then here it is. Uh, I have to be able to control the size of this. So now I have my animation here on my website. By default, this widget just makes it, you know, really big depending on my container size. I'll come here to design. I can bring this down to like 200 pixels and you see smaller. I can center this on my website and there it is at the bottom of our website. So that's how that can be implemented. I can click save 
you know, preview it and there it is. So that is really cool. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics can be challenging and time consuming. That's why we made over 5,000 templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one subscription price. For example, you can preview templates, say from our pulse pack and click apply. Then you can change the template parameters and then you are done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. So now that we know how this process works to create your Lottie animation, I'm gonna show another example here for those of you that are interested uh, in seeing my thoughts on this entire process. So I really think using shape layers are the way to go because there's so much you can do with shape layers here. So if we wanna create like a dot animation, you know, super easy to do this. We'll grab the ellipse tool and we'll just draw, draw out a perfect circle by holding shift on our keyboard. Uh, we'll center this up with our line tab and we'll come here to ellipse one, go into the transform and we'll add a keyframe for position, go to let's say 12 frames and we'll bring this animation down just like this. Uh, always F9 those keyframes. I always think this can look smooth. Go to the graph editor and we can just snap our animations in place like this where I bring in the handles. And then by Oakland and stopwatch and we're doing the loop out expression, uh, you know, it's gonna keep these animations seamless and I think it's gonna look really good. So just copy my expression uh, like so. And now we'll have this animation beautiful. So then what we do is take our layer, just duplicate it and hit PR and keyboard for position, just move it over to the side and we can do one more, move it over to the other side. And then all I have to do here is, you know, maybe offset the layers just by a few frames. This way they won't animate at the same exact time and we'll have this and that looks great. So we can have the animation start at, you know, right here in time when they're all up at the same time and that looks good. And we can just end the animation right there. So then we'll just go ahead and export this again go back to our comp that we have here, which is gonna be called dots, and we'll export it. You know, and then back on our website, I can quickly add another animation in here. So I'll change my column size to a half. That's how that works for this. And I can just re-edit in another animation. So now, just really quick, I'm able to add these into our, my website, do a lot of different animations uh, for what makes sense for design and what I'm looking to do for our sites. So now you can expand your motion graphic services by creating some really cool graphics for websites here in After Effects. So you can download our free After Effects templates. Those links will be below because of our extension. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. We have free content there as well. That link's below and always be creating.